hey guys i am back and uh this video is gonna be a little random but i wanted to kind of um talk about my second mushroom trip um also my first one i might as well just talk about that one too so um around february last year right before the lockdown happened i decided to finally try some mushrooms and um it had been a really long time to come to that decision because i had been told um some horror stories about mushrooms and like it just didn't sound fun to me it just sounded scary so i was always scared of it um i've had tons of people tell me like oh you should really do it you should really do it it could be like a very spiritual um experience and all this stuff and i was just like hell no i've been told that i'll see the devil come out of a flower vase and i'm really not about that life right now so i'm definitely not gonna do that um but then i started to read and like talk more to people about um their experiences or like what they knew about it and um it seemed like it was really more about your mindset when you do them um how your ride how your trip will go um so keeping that in mind i decided last year to go ahead and do it um before we did the mushrooms we actually went and got our auras read and keeping with this like little spiritual experience that we wanted to create for ourselves um we got the auras read and then we did the mushrooms and it was a freaking amazing trip <laughs> it was like just so random and so funny and like i just had a ton of fun i had a huge burst of energy and there was it was a weird trip in that it had phases to it and like i think the setting of how we set up everything kind of had a big hand in how the phases came in and out um we have set up um a candle and like a salt lamp on um turned down the lights we had just the laptop open so that had a color of glowing um color which we'll talk about in a minute um and we put some like lo-fi music on which had no words obviously it's just instrumentals um so that was the setting and then we came into it to like okay let's see what the mushrooms do for us like let's see what we see let's see what we like feel um kind of no expectations and literally all i wanted to do was just not have a bad trip and not see something scary that was it um so we took them around 9 p.m that time and we mixed it into some orange juice which kind of takes out a little bit of the nastiness but like eating mushrooms is disgusting no matter what you do for it i, I literally hate eating the worst part for it of it for me is just eating them um so we ground it up put it in some orange juice and drank it up and i think my reaction to it started first and started within like 30 minutes and it started as tingles in my legs first and like um, it was really intense. It was really heavy at first. So, like my body would forget to breathe, which is really stupid. But <laughs> it's happened to me. I'm really strong edibles before, where I feel like, <gasps> and like I'll forget and just like end up taking really deep breaths often because I'll just like be so so zoned out that like my body would be like <gasps> to grab um, <laughs> to grab air or whatever. Um, so that was the silly part of the start of it. Um, I did have a lot of ton of energy like running around literally like from the kitchen to the bedroom and then back and like spinning in circles and just doing weird shit. At one point I like got into the bathtub wrapped in a blanket and just hung out there because it was like it felt cool and it was like chilly. The bathtub was chilly so it felt nice. Um, I remember laying on the floor a lot like um, like I said the music kind of um, set the mood a lot so like whatever the song sounded like like if it was a really happy song and then you were like really happy and joyous and spinning in circles and like happy um there were a couple songs that were kind of like sad so then they'll be like oh get like a little pensive and like zone out and think about you know people that i don't speak to anymore or like people that are no longer here like just stuff like that um there was a time where like i just was just chilling and like laughing and then there was it was just like that like the music kind of takes you places and then my imagination would go to places like i would be like oh right now i'm in a hut in like a caribbean island and the water splashing and i could see i could smell the seesaw and it was more like me entertaining myself and like going to different places in my brain at one point i wanted to be um in the desert and kept talking about a cactus and like just stupid stuff high thoughts um 
just like with anything, I guess, <laughs> you would have like a babbling high thought. Um, this time around was very similar and it's still a little bit different for me. We did the thing with the aura um, reading again and I'll show the two different pictures. Um, this energy was different this time around, but not in a bad way. Um, so that was pretty cool. We did that still. Then when we took them, we did again the same thing with the mushrooms. We had to, you know, set the lighting and uh, music the same way. Um, it was very similar in the fact that it did give me a lot of energy, but I did not want to run around this time around. Like, I wanted to kind of lay on the floor a lot. I wanted to, like, do a ton of stretches and just wondering random thoughts again and wondering like how porta potties are cleaned out and if t-paint created autotune like just stupid thoughts like that um it'd be nice if i had some really deep thoughts but i don't think i did um the one cool thing that happened was that at one point i was staring off and seeing different colors and patterns and stuff which just that's the fun part of things like you see different patterns and colors look very intense and stuff kind of moves and it sounds like if you're staring at like lines you'll see the lines kind of squiggle um so i got to see like these little circles and they kind of popped up all over like but they were in different tones so like it would be like a lighter color and a little darker color but they were all overlapping kind of like circular like that and i got so excited about it that i wanted to like present it like physically so i asked for a pen and paper and i drew it out and the drawing was atrocious did not make sense like it just looks stupid but um i was told it was actually um sacred geometry and that i drew out the uh tree of life in sacred geometry and was like what the hell you know like I was like what no way it was just circles that i saw but it was like that's a very common occurrence when you're on uh mushrooms to see visions like that like they're not visions but whatever you see like these patterns come out of things because your brain is on drugs um so apparently uh sacred geometry is very common and you'll see a lot of like psychedelic art that the artist was on shrooms while they were doing this artwork and you'll see a lot of the same things when you do shrooms but i can't draw or paint or anything like that so obviously i couldn't replicate it but if you are artistically inclined and you want to see some weird shit and paint it like mushrooms might be for you um so that was actually a really, really cool part. Um, you do see a lot of like dots of light, like different little like colors and um, everything's really bright sometimes. Like the, the, the colors of the light in your ceiling might look really yellow or really, really white or really bright. Um, at some point I had to like, the lighting was just too bright for my face and I had to put on shades, um, which I'm sure I look totally ridiculous and now that I think about it but whatever um I also got really really hot because I was getting these bursts of energy and then I get really cold because it's winter so I'm freezing um so that was annoying because it was just get so intensely hot um but this time around I did get hungry the first time I had no kind of physical needs in sense of like eating drinking or sleeping um this time I did eat a little bit while on it and that was just like whatever um you you should watch out if you have a very sensitive stomach some people have said that they have stomach issues like they'll either have to use the bathroom a lot or they'll get like stomach cramping or nauseous so you might want to think twice if you do have like a sensitive stomach and you don't necessarily get along with most foods um or things make you sick very easily like it doesn't bother me so much but other people do get sick um so that's one thing to watch out for the other thing um i just would recommend like if you're not in a good mind state like this is the most thing like most important thing would be like set and setting like if you're in a like gloomy state this might not be the right time to do this for you because you're gonna see like really dark shit or like your feelings are just gonna be really intense about whatever it is that you're upset about so definitely don't do it while you're going through stuff um unless you really want to go deep dark and like release a ton of crap but i don't know like that's just not something i would want to do under the influence um but if you do like get a babysitter i guess like find somebody that you can trust that will like look out for you while you're in the state in case something happens with like you don't want to self-harm or anything while I'm tripping on shrooms like that sounds scary as hell um 
another thing i would recommend is like if you're gonna do it with a friend like do it with someone you really are comfortable with so you're not like self-conscious or like tripped up because you know whatever like it's just just so much more fun when you're doing it with somebody you really trust and you feel really comfortable with and like that's a big thing for me um so pick out some cool music you know like dim the lights get some colors that you think will pop like if you have artwork or if you're like inclined artistically like bring out the paints and like just go balls to the walls and like do your thing because it's just such a weird like happy funky state um i just think it was fun a lot of people are using microdosing of mushrooms for um their depression and anxiety and there's a lot of research that says it does help and there's a ton of equal research that says it has no scientific medical benefit um but from some people that have uh taken it as like a microdose daily regimen um it's supposed to really help you with your your depression and i did try to microdose once a couple weeks ago um and that morning i was just like in a i had a burst of energy and like was super giddy and joyous and super like euphoric i guess um and i felt motivated to do stuff and like that was cool um i don't know that i could like function like that in a work setting i don't know how much i would actually get done um definitely don't take a full dose of mushrooms i think you're gonna get like a regular work day done like you're not doing shit that day um you won't be able to hide the fact that you're you're fucked up on something um other thing is do not look in the mirror and i've heard other people say don't look in the mirror while you're tripping on mushrooms and i was just like whatever i'm gonna look in the mirror worst idea ever i thought i had taken like baby powder and like caked my face with it like all over my eyebrows my eyes look weird my face was really like chalky i look like a corpse to myself i'm like wow i look dead like i'm dying am i dying like what's going on and like my face just looked really weird and chalky and it was just fucking random and like it just it wouldn't go away i would come back a couple minutes or hours later and check my reflection again would think what the hell is wrong with my face i look like a dead body um so yeah don't look in the mirror it's just everything looks distorted at one point my friend's face was like drooping and then the other side was normal and i'm like all right i'm not gonna stare at your face anymore um it's just ugh, it's just it's, everything's funky um so you can see like why it would easily like can get scary um so yeah don't look in the mirror this is my recommendation don't look in the mirror um do it with somebody fun oj is cool to dump it into when you you know shred it up and to drink it you can do that or you can do a tea or you can do chocolates chocolates are popular i'm gonna probably try it out next um and yeah like go into it with a right setting and like make an intention of like what you want out of the trip like if you want to just have a freaking blast or like if you want like spiritual enlightenment or whatever it is that you're looking for um definitely set that intention before you do it and go into it with a right state of mind and you will have fun and it will be amazing and you might learn something about yourself i don't know or not um that was my experience if you guys have any questions uh shoot me some questions i guess in the comments i'm not an expert at all um i'm still researching and learning more stuff um later this month i'll probably be reading a book called drugs for adults i think it's called drugs for grown-ups um and um probably learning a whole lot more about this stuff and we'll probably review it for everybody if you're interested in it um yeah if you guys have stories of your own um on mushrooms and want to share that would be fun too because those are just fun stories to hear um if you have any funny anecdotes or just deep shit that you went through while you're on her i'm happy to hear your own versions of your your trip um so yeah hit me up let me know what you think share your stories share any resources you may have go for it um and i'll be back with another video soon and yeah thanks for watching